Right up, so as you know, it's a pretty harsh country out here, lots of mulga, gidgee and fucking all sorts of shit. And every now and again, this happens. Flat tire. So anyway, we've got the ARB recovery, like all the you know big compressors and shit. So we're gonna pump it up first and um, and try and find where the leak is, and obviously if it's got a stake through it, pull it out. Um, and get some plugs in it. So, yeah, we'll see how we go. You can see everything's caked in mud and pus and shit all in there. Yeah. It's gonna take a month of Sundays to clean that. Good times. It's my favorite. Right, we'll turn the uh, the Viking on so that we don't want to get a flat battery. That won't be any good. Well, let's turn the air compressor on, that'll be a great idea. That's right. side wall which is good so far anyway. It's like the earplugs here so I can cut the new shit. Camera will just roll backwards a little bit. Is that up the top there? Yep. Yeah, that's him. Alright, so what we're gonna do is pull this fucking thing out. Just a really sharp bit of stick, I guess. Um, there's actually two holes in here. I can hear another one over this side somewhere. <laughs> there's definitely another hole there. I don't actually think that's a hole. Nope. That's not what we're looking for. Oh, there it is, it's on the inside. Fuck. You get the camera in there? Yeah. So we have staked a McFly wall, a side wall, sorry. So what we'll do is we'll just reposition the Viking so we can get it to it from the back. And uh, yeah, we'll be back in a second. About another quarter of a turn around, Shane. Yeah, we've ripped the side wall. Stop! Righto. Fuck. This is not going to be a fun fix. Alright, so, as you can see here, we've got a big tear in the side wall. Hopefully you guys can see that. But we're gonna plug the shit out of it. All right, so, try and get this sorted. A uh, little bit, kinda. Well, Shane's gonna have to hold that. Yep, no worries. Right, so what we're gonna do is just try and work out exactly where, yeah, see that's that hole there. Right, 
So we're gonna jam this into the side wall there, like so. All that'll do is just open the tire up a little bit, make it a smidgen easier to get the plug in. So these, is a, these are the plug strips. Um, they're a bit of a pain in the ass, to be honest with you, but when you don't have a choice, you just deal with it, eh? Right, now the hard part is threading it through this little thing here. You just kind of got to squash it a bit. Because I don't have any nails, just grab the long nose pliers. Should be able to use my gorilla toes. Right, and just gently start pulling this plug strip through. Right, should be able to get that with my fingers now. Okay, so we're going to pull that through to about halfway. Right, so the plug will go in that way. Get a bit of lube. Everyone needs lube. Right. Just like that. Now I'm just gonna jam that in like that. Right. Give it a bit of a twist and then yank it out like that. Problem solved. Theoretically, so now next thing is we'll get These wicked awesome sterling cutters they cut anything um, Cut those tabs off Close them up again because they are very sharp Get all this All right, and then theoretically we should be right to uh Turn the Viking on, pump up the tyre again, and we should be apples. Won't be a sec. A fair bit of stuff going on down there. Tank's full. Where are we going to, Shano? About 11, mate, I think they run. 11 to PSI. Press her off, just disconnect it from the battery, turn the Viking off, and just listen out, make sure that we don't have another puncture, and make sure that that puncture is now sealed right. Sounds pretty good. It sounds awesome. It's the sound of winning. This is exactly this is exactly why we carry so much gear. We're probably 50 kilometers away from the house. If we get disabled, <laughs> you're not we're not walking. Um, you know, it's just not gonna happen. So we would try and get, you know, another station on the UHF or whatever. Um, apart from that, no one would ever know that we were here. So really important, carry all those things and know how to use them. Uh, I can't stress it enough to you. It's really good to go out and go shooting and, and checking stuff out But it's even better to be able to get home. All right. Hope you like the video until next time stay safe and get your outside on